Praise the Lord. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakurash. Yahweh, that's who you people typically call God. His name in the Hebrew means He exists. And Yahweh Shah's name is only begotten Son. That's who you people typically call Jesus Christ. And His name in the Hebrew means He delivers. By Hashem, in the name of Kakurash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the sincere oculus pushing forth in the truth. So the four corners of the earth want to say shalom to your brothers, keep pushing. And the double shalom to the inside like to look like the other nations. This is our party. All right. Uh, GMS Lines of St. Louis Camp. Uh, I'm solo dolo this week. I had to do my own camp today. Uh, be, because of my job and all that, thank you. because of my job, so I had to come out here on another day. All right, so today's topic we're gonna touch on today is uh, these uh, Israelite camps, false prophets, and mainly the uh, so-called Black Christian Church. All right, or any other church. Right where you Israelites dwell at. Because you're going to come to find out that the Lord is not in the spirit of these churches. All right. And let's start off with that. So this is um, Acts 7. And we start at 48. I'll bet the Most High. Well, it's not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, said the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Right, so heaven is uh, the Lord's throne. You see? Because uh, the Lord, he dwelleth not in temples made with hands. He dwells in your body, because your body is a, is a temple within itself, is a house, a house for your spirit. All right? So... You're not dealing with uh, a regular building where you go to where it might have rats and roaches and mold and all that. All right? He dwells in your body. All right? Let's go back to Jeremiah 23. So, uh, book of Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Like it reads, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock, and have driven them away, and have not visited upon them. Oh, I'll visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord. Right, so the Lord says he's going to visit upon you the evil of your doings. All right, because if you're not teaching the name Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai, all right, on the highways and the byways, with the correct doctrine, the correct breakdowns, then you're an enemy of the Lord. All right, at least you repent. Now, believe it or not, some of these false prophets are going to repent, and, and guess what? They are going to be saved. You know, but that number is very, very few. The majority of you uh, pastors are going to die. Deaths. I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries where I have driven them and will bring them again into their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase All right, so the remnant of his uh, flock they scatter through all, all the four corners of the earth as of right now all right you got Israelites that's in uh, Egypt, you got Israelites that's in Japan, you got Israelites that's in different parts of Africa, all right? Israelites over here in America, South America, predominantly we all here in the Americas, all right? And this is the final showdown. This is the, uh, the new Egypt. We're about to get saved up, saved up out of. You see? And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them. They shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, said the Lord. All right, so the Lord, yeah, he's setting up shepherds. You see, if it was 
the shepherds, uh, the apostles, the elders, the great millstone. All right, in that order. As of right now, as you uh, church people, you Christians, that y'all lacking. You know, you lacking in your diet. You got all different types of high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, different ailments, cancer. You see? You know, because you're not teaching them uh, the ways to be high pressure cancer. Uh, you're not keeping the laws to the best of your ability. You see what I'm saying? Because the ways that are going on are just in life. Alright? And uh, ultimately, it's like, you gotta have, uh, you gotta have faith. This is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord, the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that they shall no more say the Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. And from all countries, whether I have driven them, they shall dwell in our own land, right? So, like I said, hey, it, it's gonna be uh, a new Passover, all right? Because this uh, this new deliverance from the new Egypt, the modern day Babylon, modern day Egypt, hey, it's gonna be celebrated, all right? For when the Lord uh, do deliver us, it's gonna be a new holy day. I like the majority of our holy days are is is from us getting saved from our enemies. Lord. You know, the Lord is a black man. Yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah. He's a man of color. He he bought he bought your color. Right. Right. Verse eight. What the Lord liveth was brought up, which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country from all countries, where they have driven them. They shall dwell in their own land. Right. So different parts of the country, like I said. Um, Japan, Egypt, uh, all these other different places where the Israelites dwell at. All right, the Lord's gonna lead us up out of this uh, place of our captivity, where, where we getting shot down in the street, where we, uh, um, uh, what else? Getting racially profiled. All right, last hire, first fire, you know, the curses. Are people looking at you funny? Looking at you with hate and, and disgust. Yeah, so the Lord is about to do away with all that. Right? My heart. Verse 9. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, like a man whom wine have overcome. Because of the Lord and because of the word of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing the land mourneth. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Today in my house have I found the wickedness of the Lord. And yeah, so the Lord said, hey, um, hey, I, I found I found your wickedness, right? But, hey, the Lord, he, he already knows all the uh, profane things that goes on uh, behind closed doors in these uh, Christian churches and these Christian households. You know, I grew up in a Christian household, the most toxic household that you ever come in contact with. You know, 
a house full of hypocrites, whores, all right, drug addicts, all that. Says, wherefore their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall therein. For I will bring evil upon them even the year of their visitation, said the Lord. I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people Israel to err. I have seen also the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hand of evildoers that none does return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and the heavens thereof as more, right? So, so that's how the Lord look at you uh, for his prophets. You look at your um, with, uh, with, with disgust, right? As a, uh, as a son, right? Put these signs up. The signs are gonna look through all up against me. Look at you, uh, you false Christian pastors. He, he, he look at you as, as an abomination, you know, as a sodomite. Verse 15. Therefore, I said, the Lord of hosts concerning prophets, oh, I will feed them with worm wood and make them drink the water of God. Not unto the words of the prophets that prophesied unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of your own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me, the Lord hath said, Ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imaginations of his own heart, No evil shall come upon thee. Right, no evil shall come upon you. You know? Because uh, they saying, like this whole uh, pandemic that we are part of right now. Uh, it's been going on for two years since 2019. Are they saying, yeah, the Lord gonna uh, erase this pandemic off the face of the earth? We gonna go back to um, prosperity and peace? Nah, that's not what's gonna happen. Hey, the Lord is about to destroy this place. That's it. The whole thing is like, right? Hey, the whole, the whole, uh, the whole earth as, as of right now, all right? And it's getting worse and worse as the days go by. Counsel of the Lord and have perceived and heard his word. Who have marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is going forth his fury. Even the grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Right. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he has executed, until he has performed the thoughts of his, of his heart, and a lot of days he shall consider it perfect. I have not sent these prophets. Yet they ran. I have not spoken unto them. Yet they prophesied. 
Right. So the Lord said, hey, he didn't send it, he didn't send for these prophets. Now which he uh which he did on the left hand side to um, he uh laid a snare, you know. On his hands, you know how much blood this Creflo steal your dollar got, got on his hands, or uh, Joel Osteen, especially you, the Edomite prophet. And hey, even then, you still got his like blood on your hands. My counsel and have caused my people to hear my words, then they should have returned them from their evil ways and from the evil of their doings. And my God at hand, the Lord, is not a God afar off. think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal the prophet that have dreamed a dream let him tell a dream and he that have my word let him speak my word faithfully what is the chaff to the wheat said the Lord it's not my word like as a fire said the Lord and a hammer that breaketh the rock of peace. Right, because the, hey, the word the word cut you. You know, because hey, hey, all of us got cut. We all feel sorry for what we did. Hey, but you two thirds of you so called niggas that tell the Native Americans, you don't want to feel ashamed for your uh, your evil doings. You want to continue in doing them. All right, you want to make excuses for uh, your diet. You want to make excuses for eating pork. You want to make excuses for your idols. So the Lord like, all right, I'm, I'm going to destroy y'all. All right? Man, Jake, what the fuck up? Verse 30, therefore, behold, I am against the prophecy of the Lord that steal my words, everyone from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophecy, said the Lord, they use their tongues and say he said. All right, the Lord, the Lord told me this. The Lord told me that. I had a dream about you, brother. You know? Uh the, hey, the Lord in when well, the Lord gave you that dream on the left hand side. Uh allow Satan to say that. But you know, hey, you line the name of the Lord. You know, that was a uh reverse spirit that, that he uh that he sent to you. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, said the Lord, 
and do tell them and cause my people to err by lies and by their likeness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore they shall not profit this people at all, says the Lord. And when this prophet, like, and when this people or the prophet or a priest shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? Thou shalt say, Then unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, says the Lord. As for the prophet and the priest and the, and the people that shall say the burden of the Lord, I will even punish that man and his house. Right? So the Lord said, hey, he's going to punish you. You know? It's not a light thing to, uh, to say, oh, yeah, God said this, God said that. And, hey, the Lord didn't say that. No, that, that's not a light thing. Right? Hey, the Lord can take you off the planet for that. Hey, the Lord don't play about his word. Because, hey, this is a... Uh, Hey, this is a, a serious bit, right? But you gotta, uh, right? If you teach the word of the Lord, you gotta come correct. Because even you Israelites, y'all losing the oil as well. You know, y'all y'all was teaching uh, some right things, most mostly right things. about the uh, scriptures like for example like what is the mark of the beast uh what is jacob's trouble hey you ain't got no damn answers uh you lie you uh tap dance around the question you know you, you put your own twist on it also that in the last days perilous times shall come but men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to prayers unthankful unholy without natural affection truth breakers false accusers and content fears despises of those that are good right despises of those that are good yeah and for what we doing hey it's a righteous act you might say that we use the so-called profanity and all that, but that's not profanity, that's just rude speech, all right? So something that's profane, like I said, hey, it's uh, outside of the temple, there go my page, damn. Uh, some, some, something that's profane, that's uh, outside of the uh, temple, all right? Saying ass to damn, or uh, what, shit, that's not a cuss word, all right? This is uh, harsh speech. Traitors, uh, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Right? So lovers of pleasures. Hey, you uh you love sex more than you love your high me on shot. You love uh um, what else? Uh, not even just sex, unlawful sexual practices, uh threesomes, orgies, alright, homosexuality, which is uh, uh, clearly against the scriptures, alright? You you like shrimp more than you like uh you like shrimp, crab, lobster, and pork more than you like God. All right, but God said that that's uh, you ain't supposed to eat that. All right, but what did you, what do you visualize? Do you eat it anyway? All right, and when the man of the Lord tell you that you ain't supposed to eat those kind of things, and you get mad at him, you want to say, oh, that's our brother. That's the old test. That's the old test. We got a new covenant. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. 
of this sort are they which crept into houses and led captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. Alright, so, so silly women. Where all of our mothers are silly ass women. Alright? They believe in sweet white Jesus. Alright? They, they think that the Lord is uh, dealing with them. But the Lord, the Lord ain't dealing with them at all. Like the only way how the Lord is dealing with our mothers is is, is, uh, is through us, right? Through the men and the women of the Lord. And the Lord put a certain spirit on her to uh, help you out, or you know, give you some money, let her stay with, uh, let you stay with her, or whatever. But as far as knowing the truth, absolutely not. Our mothers are demons. Verse seven: Have a learning and never and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Now when Janus and Dreamers withstood Moses, so did these also exist the truth. Men in corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their father shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was, right? So their father. Right, so we seeing all these different uh Christian pastors and these different Israelite camps bugging out. You know, teaching all these different types of doctrines, things that's not in the scriptures. You know, lying, all that. And hey, it's, it's becoming evident who the true men of the Lord are. Hey, even Sarnetta said it. Even though he, he, he went and took the surface juice. <laughs> but still, though, he still see it. And, you know, hey, him hey, him following his, his woman. You know, because that's all you conscious dudes do. You know, y'all uh, worship y'all women. You know, the black woman is God. Uh, black woman this, black woman that. And the black woman gonna get her ass thrown in the lake of fire. All right? The Lord ain't coming back to save black people. The Lord coming back to save Israelites. All right? From, from the tribe of Judah. All right? And the other various tribes. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, and patience. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, and Lystra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that live godly in Hamashiach, Yahweh shall, shall suffer persecution. All right, so they, it's going to come a point in time where uh, hey, we're going to get persecuted for believing in this truth. Hey, but, but what, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to uh, stand tall. Stand stiffly because hey, this is the truth. And the Lord already said that this is gonna happen. And look at what he uh endured. Look at beat, spat on, uh, mocked, ridiculed, lied on, all right, killed, crucified. You know, the Lord endured all type of manner of negativity. All right, that's why we're teaching his uh name now. And exalt his name because yeah he he is supposed to be worshipped now that's why we say the name of how about you shot because you're not gonna get saved without calling on that name all right that's simple but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived but continue down the things that thou hast learned and has been uh, assured of, knowing whom thou hast learned them. Right, so, so it says, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Now, you Israelites out there, y'all get worse, 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 worse. All right? You Christian pastors, you Christians are getting worse, 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 worse. All right? Again, uh, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Right, you deceiving your own self, you lying to yourself, you know, trying to make it seem like everything is all right, that you're making the right choice, you know. Yeah, no, no, she bears like, yeah, uh, even though we can't combat what they say, hey, they still wrong.
knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Yahweh Mashiach. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All right, so all the scripture is given by the inspiration of uh, how much you All right. So why do you got people saying that's the Old Testament, that's the New Testament? You know, what's like, what's the difference? People can't even tell you what's the difference. in your house without that furniture in your house and your house is empty all right yeah man we're about to about to come into some rough times right, it's time to uh time to get ready and depart from this place uh mentally we got this uh new variant out there system already set up um, for the, uh, the NWO, Catch My Drift. Um, I'm use cold words now because uh, Esau is uh, hitting the videos and uh, deleting channels. Hey, because his words are going out. Hey, you can't stop this word. the one then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and put forth to meet the choir and five of them were wise and five were foolish they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps while the bridegroom tarried they all slumbered and slept and at midnight there was a cry made behold the bridegroom cometh Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. While they went and by the bridegroom came, and they that were already went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other brethren, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. But he answered and said, Brother, I say unto you, I know ye not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour whether the Son of Man cometh. All right, so you don't know when the Lord will come. All right? And you, uh, other Israelite camps, and you Christian pastors, hey, you either never had the oil to begin with, like y'all did, or you lost the oil. Now you going back and trying to change all the damn, uh, I ain't gonna say damn, but change all the doctrines, uh, change the breakdowns, saying that, uh, yeah, we gonna live for a thousand years and die in the kingdom of heaven. Hey, in the kingdom of heaven, it's gonna be uh, blood sacrifices. You know, why would it be blood sacrifices if we ain't gonna never sin? Exactly. It ain't gonna be no more blood sacrifice. We're gonna be perfect. 
we're never gonna sit again. So why would we have to eat to sacrifice the animals? We won't. And so the bodies is already gonna be programmed to be perfect. See? You're gonna get your body back. Um, you know, like, uh, like the Lord is preparing a place for us. So hey, the new body that we gonna have, it's, it, it's gonna be a, uh, like a like a hybrid between angel and uh angel and mortal man you know still be able to drink eat sleep uh have sex all that yeah the lord coming like a thief of the night and uh hey all, hey, all you people out there you're not gonna be ready all right For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling to a foreign country who have called his own service and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents. To, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey. Then he had received the five talents, went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. Likewise, he that had received two talents, he also gained other two. But he that received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants come to reckon with them. So he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents. Saying, the Lord delivers unto me five talents. Thou, deli thou delivers unto me five talents of gold. I gave besides them five talents more. And the Lord says, they well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful for a few days. I will make thee rule over many things. And thou hast the joy of thy Lord. He also that have received two talents came and said, Lord. Thou delivers unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained other talents besides them. The Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which shall receive the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou has not sown and gathered thou, thou has not uh, straw. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Oh, there thou hast that design. The Lord answered and said to them, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sow not and gather where I have straw. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchange. And then, and then at my coming, I should have received my own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto them which have ten talents. For unto everyone that have shall be given, he shall have abundance. But from him that have not shall be taken away, even that which he have. He cast she the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Right. So the talent that you get as of right now, what the uh, Lord give you, you're supposed to go out to the highways and byways and flip it. Alright? And this is on the right hand side. It's like, uh, I, I, let's use uh, the drug game for an example. Alright? You know, like. Uh, like, like you'll connect, you know, give you money. I mean, give you drugs. You got, you got to go to the street and, and distribute it. It's, it's the same way with the most high, but it's just on the right hand side. You know, hey, the money, the money is the word. All right, and this knowledge, and you got to flip it and bring forth in other sheep. All right, and guess what? You, you got to go in a cheap place in Concourse. You can't go out into uh, the woods where nobody yet. You know, like every, every brother got they, uh, every camp got their own stories as far as like guidelines. 
you know, because we got kicked out of certain places and all that. But and with that being said, you got to go to the cheap place in Concourse where, where everybody is at in order to uh, grill in the sheet. All right. And you have many examples of that. You know, you had, uh, uh, you know, guys that used to be a part of Great Millstone, St. Louis, and they came back, started teaching. You know, and and other and other uh, spots where you, you can't really reach nobody. All right, and guess what? They back in the world again for the second time. And, and the Lord, and the Lord gave them a second chance to uh, repent and do the right thing. Now, did they do the right thing? Absolutely not. They did first, right? Like you pray back a woman, uh, hypothetically speaking, that committed adultery on you. And uh, she said she was gonna do it again. Boom, turn around and did it again, All right? What you gonna do with a person like that? A person like that is gonna be, uh, gonna be beaten with many, many, many strikes. You know? Not once, but twice did they make the same mistake, you know? play about his word. You no, know, you don't play about his sheep. Let's go to Ezekiel 3. Start at 1. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat the thou finest, eat this robe, and go and speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that robe. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this robe that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. All right, so eat the robe. All right, that's this uh, truth. But this truth is referred to as uh, food. You ever heard of the saying, food for thought? All right. Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language. Those words thou canst not understand. Surely had I sent ye unto them, they would have hearkened unto me. But the house of Israel were not hearken unto me, but they were not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. Right. So, so, so the Lord made uh, I hears hard too. You know, because hey, you Israelites, you're always trying to make excuses about why you can't do what the scriptures uh, say. You know? And... Hey, hey, the Lord got us out here, you know, to uh, to uh, preach His word. And you, uh, Israelites, hey, you, you don't have no excuse for when the Lord come with the smackdown. All right, you ain't gonna be able to say, Lord, I didn't know, Lord, I didn't know. I would have turned from my wicked ways. No, you didn't. I sent my prophets out there. I knew you was full of shit. That's why I sent them. You know, so that way, you, ain't, you don't have no cloak for your sins. You ain't gonna be able to hide yourself gonna be naked and as an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead fear them not uh, neither be dismayed at their looks though they be a rebellious house moreover he said it to be son of man Son of man, 
all my words that I shall speak unto thee, deceive in thy heart, and hear with thy ears. And go get thee to them, or the captivity, or to the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, thus said the Lord God, or whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Then the Spirit took me up, and I heard behind me a voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the glory of the Lord from his place. And uh, I'm going to skip down to 16. And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word, of, uh, hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning for me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou hast given them not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die his iniquity, but his blood I will require with thy hand, right? So we don't warn the people of, uh, of their wicked ways, then the Lord is going to require your blood in our hand. Like, uh, these, like I said earlier, these uh, prophets that's, uh, that's prophesying lies in the name of the Lord. And the Lord said he's going to require all these people's, all these prophets' blood at your hand. All right? I mean, all, all these people's blood at your hand. All right? And he's going to kill you too. He's going to kill them and kill you. Now warn the wicked he will turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall surely die his iniquity. Thou hast delivered thy soul. Alright, so if you do warn him and he don't turn from his wicked ways, then the nigga can't stop getting lining, the nigga can't stop eating pork, he can't stop uh, committing adultery, he can't stop putting tattoos in his body. Alright? He gonna die, but hey, we gonna be saved. Right. Again, when a righteous man does turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin. And his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered, for his blood will I require at thy hand. Right, so hey, all you fallouts, you know, you Yaradons, you elements, and all the rest of you uh grimy ass niggas, uh shot tried and tried and through all right um because y'all was once a part of the fold and y'all turned from the righteousness and went back into the world you know uh wearing stupid ass designer shoes you know which ain't nothing wrong with wearing designer shoes if you want to wear that type of clothing nothing necessarily wrong with that but y'all were dying he made that his whole life buying jordans and um, you know, like like messing with these thoughts out here. You know, you just you just pretty you just pretty much wasting your time, man. And all these women are whores anyway. And uh, I, I, I want I want to see what she is. Uh, she ain't no damn person. So it's pretty much like she ain't really getting nothing. Uh, I I rather get. Let's say it's a uh, like 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 an older model, older model car, but nobody never drove. It. All right, versus 2019 Ferrari. That's a damn race car that goes. Right. <laughs> I'd rather get that uh that uh that that older car with no miles on it. You know why? Because it's mine. I'm the one that's driving. You know. And but you Jakes out there, you don't think like that. You Jakes out there, you think that uh, everything that this world has to offer is the end all be all, but it's not. You see? And uh, you Jakes, you got a, a rude awakening because hey, this ain't life. This ain't life. Uh, working damn nine to five. All right, getting up in the morning, uh, going to the job, being around some fake ass people, and uh, whores and Edomites, devils. And all these other different nations. All right, just not life. So we gotta uh, keep our eyes on the prize and keep it. Yeah, but 
but his blood I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he does not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned. Also, thou hast delivered thy soul, right? So if you warn him, and, 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 and he do return from his wicked ways, hey, the Lord said we saved our soul. You see? But, um, and he gonna live also. See? So yeah, hey, we just doing our job as men of the Lord. We just doing our job and, uh, Doing, doing, doing what we supposed to do, and um, and and we doing the right thing. All right, we not grimy niggas like the rest of you people out there. You know, we actually believe and follow the scriptures. You know, because hey, you guys out there, and when you uh, come at a Christian, you know. They come to find out that he really don't believe in the scriptures. You know, it shows through his what? His actions. You know, the, the saying actions speak louder than words. You know, and that's what the Lord said. His people draw near to me with their mouth, but their hearts is far from me. Matter of fact, let's get there. How's it? How are you? Good, good. It's a little windy, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, man. This is uh, Matthew 15 and 7 in the region. Hypocrites. The well Isaiah prophesied of you saying, His people draw nigh unto me with their mouth honors me with their lips but their heart is far from me but in vain they do worship me teaching for the doctrines the commandments of men all right uh the lord i even spoke isaiah he said these people draw not to me with their uh lips but their heart is far from me you know like a action like you asked a, a typical negro latino native, native america about they believe in so-called Jesus, right? They say, yeah. But what are they doing? They're smoking, uh, committing adultery, putting tattoos in their body, eating all type of abom abominations, pork, crab, lobster, shrimp, all that. You know? And then they, they, then they talk about some you eat, but you ain't teaching the truth. Hey, that's, that's why the Lord don't have to smoke these niggas, man. St. John 15 and 22 and it reads If I had not come and spoken unto them They had not sinned But now they have no cloak for their sin He that hateth me hated my father also Right But the Lord said hey, if he had not come They had not sinned But now since he came Now, now he got a reason to destroy you Alright hey, It's a righteous reason too See Because the Lord lo loves judgment same way how he loves judgment, he, he, he loves giving mercy too. You know? And the Lord, hey, he keep giving you uh, chances and chances, stretching out his hand. And guess what? Hey, you smacking the Lord's hand away. So therefore, you, you 
you gonna have, you gonna have to pay for that, right? Hey, it's the Lord, the Lord ain't playing with you people, man. He ain't playing with you people, right? Lord's about to destroy this place. Verse 24, if I had not done among them the works which I, which none other man did, they had not sinned. But now have they both seen and hated me and my father. But this coming to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in the law. They hated me without a cause. All right, so they hated the Lord without a cause. The same way how, how they hate the Israelites without a cause. Because we haven't necessarily did, uh, necessarily did anything to you people personally. But you know, you acting like we the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the worst thing going, and that we more evil than the so-called white man, you know? But shit, we ain't spraying chemtrails on you. We ain't putting uh, fluoride in your water. Or we ain't giving you false religion. We giving you the truth. Hey, this is an act of love right here, you know? Hey, but, hey, but what are you doing? You know, you are uh, smacking the Lord's hand away. So, there, hey, therefore, when that time come, you're going to whoop your ass. Right? Rightfully so. So, hey, I don't, so, hey, we, we don't want to hear no crying. But you're going to hear plenty of that. But y'all don't, but y'all don't want to try to say, we don't, don't want to hear no crying and no, uh, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't did this, I wouldn't did that, no you wouldn't. Proverbs 1 and 22. How long you simple ones will you love simplicity? And the scorners of light and the scorners of food chain knowledge. Turn you at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and will make known my words unto you. Now through his uh, prophets, All right? Because I have called, you refuse. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. For ye have said it not all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. As the Lord said, He gonna laugh at your calamity. He gonna mock when your fear cometh. No. Right, Cause when it ain't no food in the grocery stores, you, know, you scrambling, you, you got your damn Glock on you. <laughs> hey, you, you just saw your wife get murdered in front of you. You know, <laughs> you, you done lost your son. All right. The Lord said he gonna mock you. You know, cause you people, you gonna be out there trying to loot, and trying to um, uh, steal TVs and <laughs> trying to steal TVs and stuff. And the Lord said, hey, he gonna mock at you. All right? When your fear coming as a desolation, your destruction coming as a whirlwind, when the stress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me when I would not answer. They shall seek me earlier, but they shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. All right, so they hated knowledge. They didn't choose to fear the Lord. See? They, they chose to, uh, to enlighten to their own devices. They chose to be a black Christian. They chose to be a damn Moor. A damn, uh, a damn Muslim. All right? A slut. A grimy nigga. You name it. They didn't choose to be an Israelite. Like I said before, the Lord ain't coming back to save uh, black people. They ain't come back to save Native American people or... Or um, Hispanic people, the Lord coming to save Israelites. All right, His chosen people. Now, if you don't know you Israelite shit, the Lord, the Lord ain't coming for you. All right, the Lord gonna destroy your ass. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of food shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell, shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Right, so, who shall, so whoever shall hearken unto the Lord, the words of the Lord, because the scripture says the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Right? So if you hearken unto the Lord, 
take heed to the, uh, the warning, guess what? You very might well be saved. All right? But you got, uh, you know, which we don't know if we are part of the elect or not. We just doing what we supposed to do in order to get saved about in this place. I right, this place is about to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. That's it, the whole Bible, right? But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Right, because uh, you, you ain't gonna even know where your next meal is gonna come from. Like, yeah, the elect is gonna try us. I mean, the Lord is gonna try to elect. All right, Lord will not be a part of that number. The Lord is gonna try to elect and the Lord is gonna, uh, um, you know, uh, help us and all that. But still, the Lord is going to still uh, try us, right? Because you're going to have brothers that's going to have to die for this truth, all right? If I'm one of those brothers, may the Lord put the spirit on me to endure, all right? Because I, I, I guess dying for the Lord, that's a, that, that'll be an honor, right? Shit, no, nobody wants to die. Like, who the hell want to get their head uh, chopped off or whatever, or beat? Nobody. You know, the, the Lord didn't even want to go through that. But he had to do it because it was the only way. He had to enter into the straight gate. That was the only way that the Lord uh, was going to receive his glory. Just through uh, going through that uh, turmoil. Scripture says, enter ye in at the straight gate. And the straight gate, it, it, it ain't always pretty. Alright? But the Lord's death wasn't pretty. He died the most grievous death ever in the history of mankind. He got a uh, pretty cute box uh, spread on. Laughed at. And see, he had the power to. Uh, all these is down. All right, and with the Lord, and He humbled Himself, you know, because He knew that that had to be, uh, He knew that it had to be done. Right? And how many, uh, how many of you can say that? You can't say that. That uh, you can do that. I know if I had power, shit, I, I would have fucked you niggas up. You know, I would have been the last, the last one laughing. on the prize. You know, like, hey, I, I gotta go through this in order to be saved. Well, in order to be uh, exalted. Alright?
Kentucky. Isaiah 53 and 1. Who have believed our report? We esteemed him not, you know, because uh, he got the total opposite of glory. All right, he got despised and beat, uh, spit on, all for our sake, you know. And, and guess what? Hey, he didn't have the flyest girl, and he wasn't the most handsome man. All right, I used to trip off of quote unquote being uh, handsome when I was younger, you know. And uh, the majority of people tell me I am handsome. A lot of people didn't tell the Lord that, you know? So you gotta always remember, he went through way worse than what you're going through now, all right? Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. Christ the Lord laid onto him. God so loved I seen this uh I seen this one post on uh Facebook saying uh why so why would you kill your son and not the devil? Alright. Well first off, uh the devil is the son of God. But, but the devil, they, they talk about the spiritual demon Satan, and that's how we eat, eat, eat The devil is the, son, is the son of God on the left hand side. The uh, top left handed angel. Alright? Uh, Satan, Satan does the Lord's uh, dirty work. You know, he, he goes out and uh, put hell and uh, afflicts people. Alright? So now the, so the right hand son, which is uh, Yahweh Shai. Alright? That's the uh, son without blemish. Who he gave for uh, our sins? You know, he sacrificed uh, his, his son to redeem us back because the Lord put us away. You know, something had to die, right? Like I said before, that was the um, that that was the penalty of the uh, sinning is uh, a blood sacrifice. The wages of sin is death. Right, so yeah, something had to die. And that was the only thing that was worthy enough. Because the Lord said he wasn't gonna, he wasn't gonna even deal with uh, animal sacrifices no more. See? He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before a serious is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. Now who shall declare his generation? He was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. All right, so yeah, hey, he didn't do no violence. He was just telling the people what they were supposed to do. All right, that was his job as a man of, uh, of Yahweh, as the son of the Most High. Why we went to sleep the first time? And 
many, 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 many other times after that. And even his current captivity, because we didn't keep his dogs out So he allowed us to go into the slavery and all these other different nations. You know, especially the Esau, he's the so called white man. The sword, according to the scriptures. The devil, according to the Bible. It, it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. Thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the, the travail of his soul. And shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall bear their iniquity. Right. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, as he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgression, and he brought the sick of and made intercession for the transgression. Alright, so yeah, he knew he had to die. Alright? And what you know through the spirit of God, you have Hashem and Shah, hey, the Lord is Isaac. He had many different, uh, he had many different reincarnations that he, that he went through. Adam, Isaac, alright, alright, Yahweh Shai, uh, Solomon, alright, so yeah, he, he, had, he had to do that for, for our sake, you know, the Lord did it, did it to uh, redeem us back, you know, to buy us back, he brought us back with his own son's blood, alright, And I hope this is edifying and I want to say shalom and a Bible ball.